had an overview about the application of difference equations. We also saw the application of the second order difference equation. However, the first order difference equation is more widely used because it is easy to understand. In this video, we will try to solve a very popular economic problem by using the first order difference equation. A farmer goes to the market with a small supply of his produce and sells at a certain price. He finds that the demand is greater than his supply. What do you think the farmer would do? Yes, he will raise the price in the market for the simple reason that consumers are ready to pay any price to get the good in limited supply. Otherwise, some other consumer will get it. But do you think this high price will continue for a long time? Let us see what happens. If the farmer finds that the high price continues and the demand is high even in the next period, he will produce more and in the next period he will go to the market with a high supply to meet the high demand. But consumers have a tendency to buy more at a low price. So, if the high price continues, the demand will gradually fall. This will give rise to a situation of excess supply and the price falls in the market. The farmer will now adjust to the fall in price and will reduce his supply again. If the supply continues to fall, there will again arise a situation of shortage and price will rise again. This cycle of adjustment between demand, supply and price continues for successive periods. What were your observations from this scenario of a market for agricultural produce? You may say that the quantity demanded in a particular period depends on the current price in the market and quantity supplied depends on the previous period price. In agriculture, time lag is observed between planting and harvesting and in this time lag exists a rise and fall in prices that results in the adjustments of demand and supply and this cycle gives rise to a web-like structure. Therefore, this theory was coined Cobb Web Theory by Nicholas Kelder in 1934. Literally, cobweb means spider's web, generally when old and dusty. This term is used in economics to explain the circular behavior of demand and supply in certain markets that is based on time lag and the supply and demand adjustments due to price fluctuations. Other examples of the use of the cobweb model can be seen in livestock herd, housing sector, and rational expectations equilibrium. 